All right, what is going on, everybody? We're Diversity here. Uh, we're back with a new, new deck I seen. I thought I'd try it out, and um, this I think Molt, I think was it Molt right who uh showed me. I seen this deck off Molt's channel. Thought I'd try it. Um, get some gameplay on it for you guys. Um, usually, I I try to only do gameplay after a deck I played a little bit. I have not played this deck in one ounce. Like, this is the what I'm finishing you guys is essentially. Um, the first time I'm using this deck, so usually a lot of times, like, like I said, play with the deck first, and that way I can be like, okay, well, this is just complete garbage. There's no point in making gameplay on it, or okay, I see the flaws of this deck. It looks, you know, I, I or you, you sometimes you, you a deck may look good on paper, but it takes a little bit of time playing it for you to truly, truly, truly understand it. Uh, this is one I've had experience, decent amount of experience with almost all these cards. Um, except for I can say Master Mode, he here is a um he is kind of one of those cards in this deck that um i could replace pretty easily and i'm not can't 100 sure on his purpose here um besides to be disruptive <laughs> excuse me yeah I, I can't remember his exact purpose besides disruption honestly so um so yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna roll with that. I I mean I guess other kitty decks if he hurts, um and maybe if they if they end up like just like drawing cards if it's like a different dinosaur deck or something, we can limit them pulling more cards to their deck. Um, so I'm not I'm like I said not 100 percent sure on him in this deck, but yeah I I do understand almost everyone else. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Um, yeah I've used pretty much all these cards before. Um, and either Surfer decks or uh, Professor X decks or uh, Bounce decks, so kind of, kind of, it's just a little bit of everything here. Um, the way, kind of a flaw, just looking at it on paper, it does seem like um, it does feel as if there are some um, underlying flaws to it, and the biggest one being um, it, it seems limited on mobility, if you will. Um, and I'm pretty sure we saved Psylocke for an early Professor X and or Sarah. So, yeah, I guess, I mean, worst come to worst, you just play Psylocke also on turn five. That doesn't hurt us too bad, especially if we get Sarah. Okay, and he unfortunately seems to be playing a lot of one drops. So he might, this looks like it could potentially be a, a, a zoo deck. Okay. That's not good. He actually now has a place to play my sentinels, honestly. He might have played a sentinel there, yep. Just to kind of clear his hand. Not that we needed to. Uh, squirrel girl, it would have been kind of solid to have played Juggernaut on that Squirrel Girl, just to kind of avoid, um, trying to think now who, who works pretty well here. Honestly, Psylocke here isn't too bad, um, but I might as well just play like, yeah, I think, I guess Psylocke isn't too bad here. Unfortunate thing about Rogue here. Yeah, let's Ironheart here. Because I think we'll play Sarah next turn. But unfortunate thing I think is he is going to potentially play... Um, I forgot about Nebula. Man, I think to myself, do we really win here?
We'll see. I don't. We didn't get Bishop. We didn't get Professor X. Cosmos Middle. I mean, uh, we got completely shut down. Honestly, when well, it's just the really the map, but um. I don't think we get more benefit from this. Oh, wait. Sorry. We can do the math on if we beat him center, right? Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We can play anything here and we win this lane. Yeah. And then it just depends on who he plays there on the uh, right side. Okay. Okay, I think we just barely win. Well, oh yeah, I was thinking about that. I think I think Bast. No, no well, because Maximus is here. Never mind. I'm gonna say Bast just might be a better, just might be slightly better than um master mode but yeah S somehow we barely won that one just off pure luck and the fact that he wasn't playing like a super high uh he like he was playing a kazaro uh, um he had kazaro deck a uh and it seemed like he didn't get kazaro so which if he did we would have stolen with our rogue but we never got to uh okay quake quake's kind of in interesting card I, uh i got a bunch of good variants with quake and i um Probably use them. Okay, that's kind of neat. This can be disruptive if he's playing something that, um, let's see. Ooh, he might be running the same deck as me, funny enough. Juggernaut's a card you normally wait to play, so but we don't we don't have Professor Oh I, f I completely forgot about that. He goes middle too by the way. Which you might have forgot that. Um Oh thanks Kitty. I didn't didn't want to see you just yet. Potentially Maximus. No, Maximus goes middle again. Mm. So we got to clear some hand space here. Look, yes, we. Okay. Quake's fine. Quake doesn't go off or anything. He does have a literal. He could play Galactus this turn. And we probably definitely gave him Galactus if if he uh didn't already have him. Which um, I mean it has to be Galactus here. Not like I'm not surprised to see Galactus, but he um him playing uh so and then we gave him two cards, honestly, with Maximus, which kinda sucks. Uh, and unfortunately, we play right into his Asgard hand. Um, so the question is, what? Uh, how? Do, what's the most power here? Uh, 
No point in playing Surfer. I think so it just gives us plus eight here, I think. Right, six, six to your other two, then one on Angela. If he, I mean, we lose to Noel, but we like win to everything else. But he might have player play Noel in. The thing about the Galactus Dex is kind of really crazy and cracked is the fact that he still gets plus one energy on this turn, so he really can play a decent amount of cards, especially if Def is even if Def isn't zero. If Def is just one, you can still play Noel in Def. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of, a lot you can do here. Uh, if he has, if he has, uh, no and death, then we're done for. He also may potentially, uh, Shang-Chi here, but I don't, it's not like that matters. It does matter now, I didn't, I just realized the, uh, okay, no. Yep, yep, death, no. It, it's too, it, I mean, he just, I think it, the Maximus helped him out there, because I think he only, he only had two cards left in his deck. I should have just left, um... That one, I mean, that's a super obvious one. Like, who, who, I mean, it, come on now. I should have, I should have played Quake earlier. And maybe when he, yeah, I don't know. That was obvious. I wish I had, I wish I had Professor X. That would have been crazy good. I would have snapped. Oh, we do have a, we do have a hard counter for Galactus. And that was such an obvious Galactus too. That we could have really snapped. This was frustrating about that. It's just the fact we haven't seen Professor X in the two two games we've played this deck initially. So, <sighs> oh wait, am I just been clicking or or what? How did I get to turn three so quick? Move one to the right. On turn four. Okay. Funny enough, I think I hate, I really hate playing Maximus early. Mm. Darn. Alright, let's play Maximus anyway. Sunspot. Is this ongoing? No, it's just a ability. Um I think we have to Sarah here. We we get decent power with um okay. That's five to a sunspot. With bit decent power to bishop. Um, okay, Master Mode comes a little bit late. I, I would like to see Angela there. Um, I think um, Hulk comes out here. It's just, where does he play the Hulk is the question. He can't, oh, he obviously can't play um, it. Uh, on In Big House. Oh, you know, oh, we got priority though. So we, I would say we could rogue it, and he becomes just twelve. Either way, oh, we do got priority though. That's kind of interesting. No, 
No, Big House backfired on us. I didn't even think about this. I never even thought about the the possibility you can play Professor and Jug on the same turn. What we could have did was Juggernaut here and then Professor X, but we can't do. Oh, that would have been crazy good. But it makes but ugh, that sucks honestly. I think this is our best play. But I'm pretty sure he. Oh, he didn't play Hulk. Okay, at least that goes middle. So I don't. I don't know what he plays then. He might. No, he can't. He could kill Mongrus some way somehow. Unlikely. He can't play anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. She Hulk. Has Matt. Okay. If the She Hulk went to the big house, then we would have been kind of screwed. Yep. Juggernaut kind of saved us a little bit there. The play wouldn't have worked because I was I was just for sure expecting the um that looks like a hybrid of a it looks like a high evolution deck with um it looks like he added it looks like he's trying to do Hulk like he you when you, I, I realize no with high evolution you can't you can't play on both well you can try to I've never seen a good deck yet you can't it's really hard to play on both abilities um where they're either you're inflicting minus power or you're like not trying to spend energy either either one's viable i think um it's just about knowing oh uh, on turn i hate dream dimension i think they're supposed to lower the um is this supposed to be go down in uh rate or something or was this not one of the ones either one i dream dimension is one of the turn five is already convoluted with a bunch of there's a bunch of things that happen turn five, and I think Dream Dimension they should rework this and make it maybe a turn three map or something. I think would be mm, maybe even turn two. Just no, I, I, yeah, turn mm, like turn four because I, I know I realize a lot of turn five things in turn four things happen because of you don't see all the locations until turn three. So a lot of times it can be pretty bad. One and one of the funny um, locations or the worst one you can see. Um, is I think uh, TV, TVA. If you see that on um, like turn three, then you only have basically one, two turns to do something. Um, so, If he doesn't play here, that'd be okay. Never mind. Nice. So it's not a bad play here. I mean, I th once again, I think maybe Master Mode is a potential, like, counter to playing Maximus earlier. Um, just because then you can fill their hand up. But then again, it's just... Then maybe they only draw one card. I, I don't know. It's, it's just so much. It's still iffy. I know he plays Kitty here, so he might he might drop two cards. The Psylocke does help us still make a... Um, it still makes it, it still helps us make a play. Um, he has Kitty, so I don't think he's playing Galactus. Uh, I think it's just a normal Destroy deck, in my opinion. I'm just trying to debate why Wolverine's here. Um, it's either Destroy or Galactus when it comes to Wolverine. It's almost no in-between. And I think Kitty's just on his team in case he doesn't get um, Galactus. Let's see. Okay, he waves. This is very much a um, strong Galactus play here. He can't. Oh, everyone's four cost, so he actually still can play. Um,
Let's just Maximus left. Just in case he does uh, Galactus us here. He could uh, Doc Ock us too. Just, I don't know. So, he has options. But I, obviously, I think, yep. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. Is our MMR high or something right now? It's crazy how many of these we're running into. Mm-hmm. Luckily, he gets priority, so we can steal the freaking Null if he has one. Mm-hmm. And of course, we do get Kitty for no apparent reason here. This is all we can do. And pray he plays no. Is it death? It's destroyer. Okay, well, um, mm-hmm. that's new. Like I don't. That's not new. I don't. I, I guess there's so many. And the fact that he might even have both. I, and, and I mean, it's once again, what's our counter to Galactus guys, Professor X. It seems it was so funny is that we have the hardest counter to Galactus on the planet, which is Professor X, because he he essentially just he it's obvious it was it's pretty obvious which lane he was going to go for there I think because especially after saying Destroyer now it actually wasn't completely obvious um but I had a better chance of winning even if no yeah I mean the lane he picked would have been is better if he had no that's why I thought he had no. And we would have for sure won if he did have no. <sighs> now we get Professor X. Watch, it doesn't help us this turn though. This is kind of funny. Play two cards. I want you to play two cards just so your hand. Darn. Been better if it had, if if he could have got four uh, sentinels. Not sure. Not. So okay, good. And, and the funny the fact that it was the car he um, the fact that it was the car he uh. I'm not gonna waste time playing two um Silox. Funny enough is I could I know I could Professor X on Strange Academy. I just know he's not gonna go for it. But I know it double Sarah we can do it next turn, so it's fine. Hi Evo. Um he might be you know I might need to lock up middle so he can't um Double Hulkers or something. It's because I don't know which lane is going to go. Mm-hmm. Abomin, do you still get cloned? Yeah, you do, unfortunately. Did I, I didn't snap. Why did I snap? Anyway, can anyone answer why I didn't snap that turn? I guess I went 100% confident. And he has a bunch of molds in his hand. Oh, uh, is there a card that people... Oh, I guess Hazmat. If he's running Hazmat... I was like, what, what could he still possibly play here? Wow, I would have snapped. Jeez. 
He's definitely playing hazmat, but it, yep, doesn't matter unless, wait, who's this? Oh, Lord. Wasp. Saved by the bell on that one. I really wanted Maximus and Professor X to go in the same lane. I was finna say, who who are you still running for me not to? Um, wow, that's crazy. I should have. Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. You know, I should have did there. Should have, would have, could have, but I should have. Um, when I should have just played Maximus. And Professor X in that left lane, and then like Ironheart middle on top of a uh, uh, Sinister London, and then and then on the next turn I should have played a uh, double uh, Sur- Silver Surfer. And now he can't draw. I mean, this is the only time it been. I see a little bit of benefit out of like these, like one and go like deals. Like now he didn't draw that turn, so cool, great, awesome. But I mean, still nothing crazy. Um, I do see a potential. Professor X play, which I could have definitely did with, uh, okay, this is a surfer deck that explains why he didn't, uh, see, it's turns like this, I'm like, well, I don't, just don't understand what to do with the deck, so. Okay, definitely a surfer deck. It's just now... Okay, we know he's playing surfer middle. Funny enough. Uh, this could backfire, especially if he does play something here. Um, is Sarah the better play? And then next turn we... I think that way at least he, well, he gets priority either way. You know, funny, I know, mm, maybe we Sarah. Yep. We could have got away with a professor there. Oh, we do get Juggernaut, though. How the heck did we end up with priority is the question. Great. Oh, we get priority, so we could shut down theoretically his uh well but then oof he's snapping on us. We could shut down his surfer play here. I think Rogue here just for fun. For the extra two there. Oh, wait, oh, I forgot. Bishop gets a little Buddhist. So, hopefully, this is this. That's his probably his surfer. So, he doesn't gain anything from. um. Yeah, and I forgot. I just remember Bishop. So, we do win Volt. So, Maximus, cool. Killmonger, cool. Your surfer, cool. I, knew it. That's, I figured it. <sighs> I figured. Funny enough, I didn't think about the Sarah play. 
I didn't think about the Sarah play, but we could have professor. See, I, I realized that he's uh he was he was running a surfer obviously once he didn't make a play until turn um three, but I could have um easily and what's funny too is that he um no he only misses that turn three draw because then he just plays a card every turn. Oh great. Well, at least I still got kitty. But yeah, that was that was a pretty easy read. So I think um, it's like just juggernaut the uh surfer. I did not. That's such a bad place to pit uh Yondu. I think we'll play next time with Jugger Kitty this lane. Brood. Even with the plus three, you don't win Asgard. Well, oh, he ties. God darn. I, I should have did the math on a tie. I think this is a little bit better unless he plays like eight cards here. Mm, these would have been better last turn. And he has party, which is good. Thing kitty here. We tie middle, so no one gets the and yeah, he wins. It was, I mean, I, games like that is just whatever because obviously it's uh, uh, District X is, uh, I think, is that, that's another, District, any time, I love this game, but there are a few maps that definitely, I think, should automatically have low rates. E I'm glad Ego, I see Ego maybe once out of every, almost feels like a thousand games, but Ego's pretty low on the list, he, he doesn't show his face too often. Oh, but one thing, one thing about this deck, I mean, Kitty is here. Kitty gives a lot of great power, I think. Um, especially if there's just nothing better. Oh, wow. One of the one times you wish Kitty was still in your hand, but it's fine. That is fine. Ironheart and Professor X definitely needed the extra power, so no complaints. Uh, nice. Uh, we we'll still stay on air. Okay, that's fine. Oh, one, two, three. Get the, is the extra two cards we want? Yeah, we'll be at six, but then we don't pick Kitty up. So, honestly, it's not really even worth playing there. Unless... Yes, yeah, it's just not worth playing. It. Yeah, I'm not going to try to win that either just because I... Oh. 
say, well, his you know, his hand isn't full. Well, I should have I should have just not played there to get to. Uh, that's fine. Oh, uh, this thing is a destroyer deck, so he might. Hmm. His priority, so. Mm -hmm. I think Professor X comes out somewhere here. Okay, we know where his destroyer is going. And he has priority. Even if we had an Enchantress, which, funny enough, Enchantress would have. <laughs> oh, well, he still played Cosmo, though, so he was still good. Um. Yeah. It's like nothing we can do here. Wait, how much power is this? Not enough. Shoot for now. Destroyer. He's trying to play Destroyer on Limbo. I could have just to, just to prove that I could have played that one out, but it's not like I care if we win, win or lose cubes at this point. Once you're infinite, it's it's just it's, it is what it is when it comes to cubes. So I'm never like stressed about winning them. It's just about when I like when I'm in the nineties that I'm like, okay, I gotta every match counts. Yeah, man, I, the decks. It's it's interesting. I, I see its potential. It definitely has a lot. It just isn't like it's just like you need certain cards. Honestly, that's that's really all I can say about it. Is you you just you need certain cards. And one thing I've learned too when it comes to Kitty is you still play Kitty on two, and then you just play Angela on three. I, I see some people play Angela two, and then you oh f me. But to, this would have been the one. Oh never mind, never mind. I forget Kitty stays in hand so. Kitty's ability. Now I will admit, guys, and then now, now he loses that apocalypse. Funny enough, but Kitty, a uh, Kitty is great for a few reasons because she 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 still is here. She's still on the map at the end of the turn. So a lot of things that happen really help you out. Um, first and foremost, like maps like uh the one that gives you plus one. Every card that's here gets plus one or something like that. Forget the exact name of that map. I think he plays another low cost, so I might just go ahead and jugger him into hopefully uh Jutanen. Oh nope. He uh Dracula's us there, so that's un that's a mis unfortunate uh misplay there. Um, let me think, let me think out loud here. Okay, so, I think we're going to be fine for left. How do you say this? Jotunuhim, him, Jotunuhim, Jotunuhim, Helm, it's, it sounds like a Thor, like, um, like, realm or something, Helm, okay, uh, Yeah, surfers be dumb here. Um, Dracula, I think who's he banking on? 
Okay, let me do this. Now I guess would have been a better turn to play Juggernaut. Oh, perfect. So we can steal that with the uh, with Rogue. And I think we can. Funny enough, we can still. Um. Yeah, I don't think he plays on uh left. So. So yeah, I think this wins it for us. Should be. Morbus goes to zero, so they lose six. Um. Well, if they play something bigger than we actually, if they just play Swarmer, I think we win pretty easily. So, oh, I forgot about the uh, the surfer boost. So yeah, we're good. We're good on all accounts. I should if that. Oh, Chavez! I didn't want to see a Chavez. Did not want to see Chavez. Honestly. Okay. Oh, we still window. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Ooh. That's an interesting, um, okay. He had, he had a complete faith in that. I, I don't blame him for snapping. One of the very rare times Rogue actually helps. And I think, um, Rogue had, no, yep, yeah, never mind. If only Rogue has, yeah, she, it, she's a, see, and that's what I mean by this deck has, it's a, it counters like a lot, like, um, uh, Darkhawk counters, uh, Di Devil Dinosaur counters, even the Hulk decks out right now counters with Rogue. Not that Rogue, like Rogue takes the like ten of his power. Usually, if if they've really been like yeah, takes away like ten. He's still at six twelve, but a little bit more manageable. Um, please give me Kitty. God darn it. Mode doesn't even matter here. Mode actually helps him honestly. I think about it. Uh. Yeah. We need a turn. Yeah, we need that turn for Professor X ASAP. It's okay, dude. And armor's there. Let's see. Let's see which lane's better, Professor X, middle or left. It depends on X mention. If we get some bad on left, then Groot, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then I think. Yeah, I think we just obviously play here then, and pray that he doesn't have um. Oh, what did you play? Be less than eight. Okay, good. He plays the Jeff there, so it's fine. I think he obviously has his own Professor X, so seems to be his play. Um, I think Sarah gets more beneficial is more beneficial here. He could press the access here. Uh, that would be dumb. Okay, magic. Uh, okay, this one. Could very much Shang Chi us. That would suck. And I'm not. I'm not gonna give him um, the. Uh, I didn't want to give him the Sentinels now, so I'm waiting. I waited to play that. He very easy could Jeff us left. So 
Uh, Shang-Chi Jeff. Um, minus 12 here would hurt quite a bit, actually. Yeah, if we get Shang-Chi, we're pretty much through, I think. Fourth. Uh, yeah, I don't think he did, though, with this many cards he just played. Unless he played Shang-Chi in a 2-1 cost, or maybe a 2 and a 1. Infinite. Okay. She Hulk and who the heck else? God darn, I was not expecting that. Basically a free She Hulk, right? And the Infinite is uh Well, who had priority him? That's absurd. No wonder he snapped. I was, I was I, yeah, I understand. There's no way I could compete with that. Except yeah, and I gave him I gave him too much leeway with Nebula. Yep. If only, if only, you know how we would have won that one? If only, uh, before that, I don't, don't even remember the name. If we could have played Mode before that location showed up, and then it destroyed his deck, and he would have been stuck with Modes. That would have been, that would have been very nice. But, uh, unfortunately, it was not our testimony. We need to get Kitty at some point soon. Great. Even every like everyone if bishop's gonna suck here, unless he killed mongers for us. We're not in good shape at all. And then mode only helps his collector. Also, I, I think his, un, yeah, and his hand's pretty low, so I'm not gonna even mode on him. Yeah, I may need to start psylocking just for precautions. Because there's been a lot of times with the... I used to play... Or not used to. the One of the surfer decks I play... Um, I I use Wave. Wave to play Sarah. And one of the things I could... And what I just realized... Well, yeah, I use Wave because of... She gets, she gets boosted by surfer. But I guess Psylock wouldn't be a bad option in that situation. Um, but yeah. Uh... Not a lot of options here. Kitty again. And people when people snap on me, it's like I don't I, I can't can't do anything about it. Ah that's interesting. I fact I might trap his kitty though. He saves his kitty. And of course we get her super late. Uh, I guess we go for numbers just for Bishop's sake. And we also have to play Surfer here um, for Bishop's sake as well. Because if he just goes zero. If he does nothing here. Sunspot gets six. Do we compete with six? Three cars. We only compete with five. So he could in theory. But I know he has hood and he has his kitty. So it's most likely the play here. Um, kitty and hood are in the demon might go middle is my assumption. Uh, and then he'd have four on that one. If I if I had faith in myself, that's what I would do. Is play uh, hood kitty middle and call it a day. So he unfortunately did one of those things. So. Yep. And he could have already did the math on Bishop, but the fact that he might have not saw the surfer coming, he snapped. She Hulk and who? Demon. How much do you get? Okay, we still win, yeah. I was like, he fist pounded me, so I wasn't sure what he was gonna do. I think he fist pounded when he saw the surfer. But yeah, good deal.
Yeah, he only spent two energy there. Which I was going to say he was going to have to spend two energy. I think at minimum for any of his combos, whether it had been Kitty, Demon, or, or what. I don't know why he didn't play... I'm curious as to why he didn't play Kitty in, um, in the She-Hulk. Or did his Kitty not have enough... Did she only get to like four or something? Which could have sworn he played it every turn. If it hits, okay. Let's say if they hit Professor X, I'm 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 done for. Alright, cool. In case it pulls anybody relevant, and by anybody relevant, just Professor X mainly. Mode, Shang-Chi, nice. Get rid of that. Not that it would have mattered with Shang-Chi. I should probably... Mm, it's no better options here. If I knew what he was playing metal, then I would have not... And Chen Rogue would have done nothing there. So... Mm. Next, uh, well... If he plays nothing Baxter now. If we just play, we'd only be at four more. We'd only be a seven. And then he could easily, he could easily just sunspot us. I think we have to go ahead and play Surfer. Wave this. Yeah, that's fine. If he plays Doom, we're good. But he has to play Doom middle. <laughs> nice. Looks like was, was it, that, I want to say that was a. Uh, I think this was it looked like just a good a good car stick. I think Shang Chi. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy there. It's just unfortunate that we didn't get a decent draw. If we had Psy wait, how long do we have Psylocke? I think we just pull her at the end. We couldn't. Have, I was say we could have maybe did a Professor X play earlier. Oh, that that uh, Scorpion actually hurt quite a bit. Honestly, um, Kitty Kitty would have been great early. Um, it's a lot of things that would have been helpful there. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's an, it's it's winnable. I mean, you guys see the results, but I, I I I you know, let me know in the comments. I might be making some misplays here, but as far as I know, oh, also another thing about Nebula is a uh, kitty's kind of a perfect counter to Nebula. I didn't um, if that's not obvious enough. Might be also run a Professor X deck. Mm. He puts the armor down there. That's interesting. Sick cost. They might have just disrupted his whole gameplay, which is kind of funny.
Oh, this is destroyer deck. So. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Hmm. Where do you play Destroyer then? Who would he play this turn? Professor X, maybe? He might play his own Professor X. Yeah, this actually might be a dumb play. He has priority too. Um, what's the next turn's play? Maybe we should go ahead and get um, Maximus out. No, let's wait on Maximus. Okay, name mark. Okay. Well, that, well, it's disabled, so that's fine. Um, mm. you know who could come out here is Spectrum. Spectrum is what would is, 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 is ignore it. Let's see if I can talk. Let's do you then. This should win us, right? I'm just nervous of a, a spectrum, is what it's looking like. But I could easily have put more power here. Um, this is just a safer play. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Not surprising. Not surprising. That's why I made sure a kitty obviously would have been smarter to play kitty middle, um, and just play like Psylocke or something on Angela. But that's the whole reason I didn't do that. I, I could have did Angela on the left side and then Psylocke. I could have did, sorry, I could have did Psylocke on Angela and then Maximus and Kitty middle just to guarantee a lot a lot of power in middle lane. Um, But I knew he was going to probably play Spectrum, so that's my whole thing. So, so even if I Professor X there, he, he might, interesting enough, he might have, he might be running a uh, Professor X in his, uh in that deck too. It's, so even either way, I want yeah. I don't think Destroyer would have been there, um, but it was definitely an obvious Spectrum play. Unless, it, I mean, like I said, the the moment he didn't put his Cosmo in the same lane, he put like Ant Man and everyone else in the same lane. His Cosmo, I was, I was leaning away from a uh, Spectrum deck, a um, Destroyer deck. But armor, when you see armor and Cosmo, immediately think Destroyer. Um, so and especially and then he played uh Mr. Fantastic. That's another card that kind of immediately is like oh, okay. I won't. I'll get a copy of Kitty later when she gets stronger. Funny enough, that is that is a decent play. I say it was not a. It's not a bad turn to mold him here.
Orca, nice. And uh, he might have forgot about the. Uh, Um, right. This is definitely the right play, right? I mean, it's like the only play. We just pray. Oh, oh I forgot about, um, well, she gets subbed out by a locked jaw, so please pull out Wasp or something. That'd be great. Electro, cool. I think that wins it for us. Or does it? If only we had Maximus. I just realized, too. The, I, didn't, I realized super late, but... um, Yeah. There was no better card to play there. But I, I just thought... I realized when he played the card down that it was going to be locked jaw. That locked jaw was there, so... um, Juggernaut, unless we had a party, wasn't going to matter too much, so... But yeah, man, other than that, this deck has been, um, I don't want to say underperforming. It just hasn't been doing that super great. It's it's not bad at all. I don't think, um, I don't think, uh, I would say by any means this deck isn't working. It's, I'm not just going to say it's, it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, like, I haven't, like, I've been keeping up with how much we've been winning, losing, because I used to just play this game for fun and, uh, hope. It just, it just, it's just, especially when you get to infinite and not to like, I've, it's been a long time. I was playing this game four or five months before I even got near infinite. So it's definitely not um like I'm bragging about it or anything. It's just, I know that uh once you, when, it seems like once you get here, it's just like plan. Plan is more for fun. And you can, it's, it's, it's so bad that you can, you can experiment more in infinite now that you can't drop out of infinite. So like, it's like the goal now is like get the infinite, then I can play around. It's kind of seems like what the meta is now. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's not bad. It's just, it really is situational and it, and it seems like I had unfortunate, like we lost the two Galactuses that we would have won if we had managed to pull professor X any of those times because they played it. They did. They played Galactus on five. They didn't play it ever. They never played it early. Um, so we would have easily been able to Professor X both lanes, both times had we had them. So I will say, um, we we could have won those games. Um, so we, you know, you could, you know, those are coin tosses and just unfortunate look, uh, which is a big part of the game. But it wasn't like we just had no answers for those. Um, it's just we unfortunately didn't have. He had the better hand than we did. Um, so. Um, and that's kind of almost all of our losses felt like it felt like we had a decent solution for just about everyone. Um, even that luckily that Morbius play, we had Rogue in hand to win that Morbius, um, draw. So, oh, uh, in our, in our biggest, our strongest power card is Maximus Surfer combo. And that's only nine. So this deck like very much is, uh, a, it's just a cheeky. You just want to lock down the lane and just kind of build up your kitty and then juggernaut. Really, the, the most straightforward play is to manage to Professor X and kitty all on one turn, which is um, which at least what I was told, which we never managed to get that off, which because uh, we really weren't pushing it too hard. Um, but we could have Psylocke and like we could have Psylocke and kitty on turn four and then Professor X and kitty on turn five. It didn't play like Juggernaut. Like I said, I don't think we ever had these hands. Or maybe I wasn't like just focused on making that play. Um, but that's another very possible play that we just didn't manage to pull off um, here. So, But anyways, man, 
my videos always seem to go an hour long. That's just how long it takes for me to get adequate gameplay of a deck. It's, I don't know. Or at least that's maybe when I just get tired of playing with a deck. I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, could you leave a like and subscribe? If you're still here at this point, you might as well. Because we do, we make at least one, one of these videos at least twice, three times a week, it seems. Um, and I think that volume is going to kind of continue to increase. Especially next month that we get a bunch of new move cards. Uh, move is definitely one of my favorite deck archetypes, and I can't wait to try some of the new move cards. I need to uh, start saving up tokens again. Um, I missed Token Tuesday this week, so we're kind of behind. Uh, a little side note too is this now? This I will say, if you spend money on this game, I'm not advising anyone to spend money on this game. But this Trash Panda. I think, and that's funny, they, they've really been going all in on the Guardians, uh, and after rewatching all the Guardians, this, this kind of makes more sense, um, the name, um, but yeah, if you are, um, going to spend money on this game, this is actually not a bad deal, I actually, um, spent a little bit of money on the game, because I saw a really nice variant, um, and I think I saw a Mr. Negative variant, and also I saw, here, like, we can actually go look, let's go look at my collection, see who the most recent card is. I think this kitty actually, this kitty, this gambit, and then also this Mr. Negative. All of these were um cards I think I recently saw. I might have, yeah, I think I got this one with my own gold or so. So these are all cards I, I wanted, so I you know just had to come out a little bit of little money uh for them. Um I don't spend much often, usually just the season pass, and I usually just save my gold for um token Tuesday. Um, now that that's a thing, but other than that, uh, usually my extra gold goes to a variant every so often when we see a good one, but the game seems to know when you have gold and when you don't, cause when you don't have gold, when you don't have gold, you guess when you get all the variants, uh, that, um, <laughs> excuse me, that's when it seems like you get all the variants that you just don't see when you do have the gold. For example, right now I have no gold, right? Let's go look at my variants. This Noah is pretty crazy. This is a super rare. This Iron Heart is a super rare. This is not a bad one. I think I love the Iron Heart variant. I got more now, uh, which you guys should have seen in today's gameplay. My Iron Heart variant. Um, and then this Black Bolt is really cool. And then this Enchantress is also. It's just nice. It, well, there's one pixel in here. But, you know, it, there's a lot of nice cards in here. And also, I remember, speaking of pixels, this is was heavily. Like almost all the variants I got early on was just like pixel like um in the in the auction like this variant market pixels who were dominated in the um for whatever reason on the 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 like the early cards like the i, I you know how many times I saw the the pixel thing in my uh in my uh variant shop it was it's crazy how many times the pixel uh cyclops things like that. Speaking of Cyclops, I need to look up his variants. I don't. I don't think I've. Now that Cyclops is, has some decent use. Oh yeah, back to that. Uh, yeah, that pet bundle. Thirty dollars. That bundle was thirty dollars, and you get three thousand gold. That's automatically more than this one. Um, this thirty four dollars, and you only get twenty six hundred gold. So, um, yeah, that that alone, the gold price, you're paying five dollars less for four hundred dollar more, four hundred more gold, and then. Plus, you get extra, like, the actual, like, just, and, oh, and, no, you don't get any tokens, right? Yeah, but, oh, you also get credit, too, yeah, that's, so not, but only a thousand, but not, yeah, not, this is a, this is a solid deal with just a token and credit alone, um, but, yeah, I, um, may think about coming back to this deal later in time if I ever, uh, in the few days that's left in it. So, now, I don't advise anyone to spend money on this game. I do not get paid to promote this game at all, so it doesn't matter to me whether you do or don't. Um, but it's I did just want to point that out. If you do spend money on this game, that that actually is a um, is a is a decent deal. Um, in uh, I just want to point that out that I I, I somehow overlooked it the first time, and because they they because usually the bundles are trash. Even this bundle is decent, like five dollars for two two solid variants. If I have to say, this Chavez is really nice looking, and this Iceman looks really weird like it almost looks disturbing um because of his the way his face looks um i think it probably looks better when it's upgraded i don't know um but he just looks like 
He doesn't look like ice, and I don't I don't know. He looks like 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 an ice cream. He looks like like a cement man or something like that. Like it just I don't see ice here. It looks like some type of just anything but ice. Maybe even ice cream or something. I I don't know. Oh, uh, but I do kind of I do like it oddly enough, and I don't have an ice man variant, so I wouldn't be opposed to just drop a little bit of change on this one. But I, I don't get anything but the variants. Um, but oddly enough, you know, that's not too bad. I wish like like this set was only five dollars. That would be that would be cool. Um, but this is Ultimate Thor, I think. So the Venomized Thor, this is the Ultimate one, so and then oh Lady Sif. They should have made this Jane. They should have did a Venomized Jane Foster, but either way, these are both really cool and very well match each other. But you can't ever play those two in the same deck, so it it doesn't doesn't synergize well outside of that. Also for this to only be a rare card, this black bolt design looks really nice. Um, for this to only be um, a rare and only 700 gold. So, anyways, other than that, man, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please thumbs up on the video, and I hope you guys once again did enjoy. And we will be back uh, for some more uh, gameplay video. I, I don't even know what the name of this deck is, but I'll definitely. Uh, you guys should know by the title what this deck was. Um. Um, but yeah, other than that, we it it, ha it was okay. It was decent. My overall, uh, yay or nay on the deck, it was I, I give it like an in between. Um, it, it seemed situational. It didn't it didn't seem like I said it didn't seem like every turn we had a win condition. It felt like it was um, it felt like we could win every game if we had the right card, but we didn't always and and that's it. Like like I will say that like a good deck is gonna like a good deck always at least at, at worst a good deck is like you lose a match because you didn't draw a certain card like you had a countermeasure for something but you didn't draw a card like right so those galactus that we lost it's not like we could not stop the galactus like it's not like we had no way to answer those galactus plays we just did not have the card that we needed so that that automatically is a sign of a good deck if your if your losses come from you having a bad draw right if it's like okay well i didn't have this card then so that that's a good sign um but also when it seems like that's your like your reason for losing every game then that means your deck relies on like select cards so it's like okay so a bad once again like like let's say a thor deck right you so you're, you you rely on getting like thor then jane foster to get your hammer and then maybe owen to boost you know you just it's a certain you're relying on certain cards to win, um, and if you don't get those cards, then you lose. Um, so, so yeah, that. But that's the bad. Like, I need, I need these cards. Like, if your if your deck relies on you pulling like three cards every game to win, then yeah. Um, but this deck, we rely, we needed to pull cards to counter other cards more than anything. But it didn't feel like we could just win a lot of like with just pure power. It's not like. It's not like we could just win with pure power here. And it's not like we could counter a lot of pure power. I think looking back at the deck, the biggest, the biggest weakness um is look I would wanna say a deck that like really focuses on power, like a uh the Hulk. Um we counter Hulk pretty well here with the uh Professor X Juggernaut, but um that's relying on two cards to just stop one one six cost card. But anyways, uh, like if they're playing like Captain, uh, not Captain. If they're playing like Doc, uh, Red Skull, there is Red Skull and like just big power Shuri, Red Skull, Taskmaster. We can't really stop that. We can't really stop those plays uh too well because it's it's just like we don't our we if we're hard, we can't master power. We don't have Shang Chi, so it, it's 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 hard to play power for power uh, decks. So uh, other than that, I think like any other just off the block deck, we we counter pretty well. But I will say like just Kitty and Angela that that gets enough power for the most part. And then like there's definitely win conditions in this deck. I'll I'll say like we're, you're not dead in the water. It's like let's just say Kitty Angela. Like if I'm just I'm just running that that combo. And then I decide to jugger. I look up and just juggernaut a lane. I know they're not going to target. We juggernaut a lane. They don't target. Then, then we just play Kitty, 
on Angela some more, and then we win that way. So there's definitely options, and then we juggernaut that the Angela land. <laughs> it's, it, it's definitely options. It's just um, situational again. So, anyways, like I said, I've talked enough about this deck. If you enjoyed, like I said, please like, subscribe. We're out. Red Arbor, see peace.